Hi, it's Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to do a short flip through of Mindbenders Level 3 from the Critical Thinking Company. So this is the first year that we are doing these like logic puzzles. Um, it's recommended for grades three through six. We are fourth grade this year, so um, this felt like a good place for us. Um, it's not very thick, um, and it's got that plastic slick shiny um, backing. They have a lot of other levels. Um, so if you've got kids that are not reading yet, they have a couple of levels below that. Um, and then they go up. Uh, it starts, we got the table of contents here. Um, and it starts with some suggestions when you're reading the puzzle. Here's things to remember um, and talks about how to work through the puzzle. Then it provides a sample puzzle. So this was blank, but we filled it out as we went along. And it shows you step by step how to um, read the clue and then use that information to fill it in and then what your next steps would be until ultimately it's all filled in. So we did a practice one and then we move on and it jumps right into the puzzles. With my learner, we did um, a couple uh, together. Um, most of them were four by four. Four by fours. There are a couple that were three by three. Um, they usually have one to two clues. As you can see, some of these are already filled out. Back up to four. Um, here's one we haven't gotten to yet. It's a five by five. We start to have a few more clues. Another three by three, but with three clues each. And then here towards the back, page 28, it talks about how do we solve multi-dimensional vendors. So where you're comparing this grid and this grid and this grid, and it'll walk us through how do we do that and show us how to fill that out and then we've got some of those a couple of pages there and it looks like we've got about yeah, about six that are like that and then it has the detailed answers so it has the correct answer and also talks about oh so and so is this because this that and the other so it's got answer keys and when you get here to the multi-dimensional one they're written out in the grid um, but that way so yeah it's um Pretty small. We started it at the beginning of August and we would do, I'd say we average one a day. We don't do this book every day, but when we do it like two days a week and when we do the book, we do a couple of pages each. So we'll probably be finishing this one up here. Um, I'd say maybe it'll take us about eight weeks total. So we're about halfway through it and um we'll probably move on to the next one because my kid enjoys that they were frustrating at first but um my kid enjoys it so hopefully you find this helpful um the critical thinking company has a lot of different types of books and we've ordered some others from them before so um we wanted to try this one out and we really enjoy it let me know if you have done mind benders or if you've done any other logic puzzle type workbooks and how those worked out for you. Thanks.